Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Border Gateway Protocol, otherwise known as BGP. We're going to be taking a look specifically within BGP at troubleshooting. Again, this is going to be BGP Troubleshooting Lab 1, where we are going to be giving we are going to be given two tasks to complete and what you can see so far in this lab is that we have two routers, router 1 and router 2. Router 1 is going to be in autonomous system 100 and router 2 is in autonomous system 200. The network connecting router 1 to router 2 is 160.12.12.0 slash 30. So the IP addressing is already done in this lab as well as the initial BGP configuration. So let's go ahead and pull up our document for BGP Troubleshooting Lab 1. And again we're given two tasks to complete. The first task is that R1 cannot form an external BGP neighbor relationship with R2. Configure the network so that R1 has established a neighbor relationship with R2. And then it goes on to say that you are only allowed to modify one command on one router to complete this task. Do not delete any configuration. So it tells us specifically that we cannot delete any current configuration on either of the routers, that we can only modify one command on one router to complete this task. So let's go ahead and start off. We have an external BGP neighbor relationship between autonomous system 100 and 200 between R1 and R2. What we can do to to start troubleshooting is on R1 if we just do a show IP BGP summary. We can see that we have a neighbor specified already within our BGP configuration which is 12.2 which is router 2. We are running version 4 and our neighbor is in autonomous system 200 and the state is active which is not good. So what we want to do first on R1 is let's take a look at the BGP configuration. Let's do a show run pipe to begin BGP. And while we're waiting for that to load, let's go to R2. And if we do a show IP BGP on R2, I'm sorry, show IP BGP summary. What we can see on R2 is that we have a neighbor which is 160.12.12.1 which is correct and that is in autonomous system 100 and we also see the state as active which is not good. That state should be established and up and running. So on R2 let's go ahead and also look at the configuration for BGP. Let's do a show run pipe to begin BGP on R2. On R1 what we can see is that we are running locally